Stage 1. Forming. In the forming stage, team members are introduced. They share information about themselves and form first impressions about each other. They learn about the project they'll be working on, discuss the project's objectives and goals, and start to think about what role they'll play on the team. As the team leader, this stage provides you an opportunity to be very clear about team goals and provide direction about the work the team will do. You can help the team determine roles and responsibilities and help guide initial interaction and plan preparation. Stage 2. Storming The second stage, storming, is an unavoidable transitional stage as team members begin to work together. Team members may compete with each other and different opinions may cause conflict within the team. The team leader's guidance is still important in this stage. You can help your hires solve problems, stick to their roles, and remind them how to function independently as a team. Your leadership in this stage can also help team members remain respectful and ensure that all voices are heard. As the team becomes more accepting of each other and recognizes the value of others' contributions, your involvement won't be as necessary. Keep in mind that if you have younger team members or professionally immature hires, this stage can last longer. Stage 3. Norming In the norming stage, team members begin to work more effectively as a team. Individual goals are left behind for the good of the team's collaboration. Everyone's ideas are heard and valued. Roles are accepted and working plans are implemented, and working together begins to feel more natural. Minor conflicts can be resolved and team members seek each other out for their opinions. The work gets done and projects move forward without requiring so much involvement from the team leader. Stage 4. Performing In the performing stage, teams are functioning at a very high level. The focus is on collaboration to reach the team goal. Team members trust each other. As a team leader, your goal is to help your team get to the performing stage an important stage for high-functioning teams. Teams at this stage can make decisions together and solve conflicts easily and effectively. The team can implement change without reliance on their team leader for day-to-day -day work. As the team leader, you'll continue to monitor productivity and team functionality. Keep an eye out for breaks in the workflow if someone starts to work independently or if a new member joins the team. Stage 5. Adjourning. In the adjourning stage, the project goal comes to an end and the cycle gets ready to start with new goals and maybe new people. Your team members may move on to new projects together or with different team members. This stage is an opportunity for you as the team leader to evaluate the team, review lessons learned as a way to introduce new projects and contribute to organizational growth. This stage also provides an opportunity to celebrate the team's success.